welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite tried and tested cleaning products. I have tried a lot in the past, but these ones I'm gonna show you today are like the best of the best. So I really hope you enjoy this video. And a few things before I start. My hair is like this because I haven't washed it in three days. I have just had my eyebrows tinted, so they are very like dark and angry. And most importantly, I just hit 250,000 subscribers. So I wanted to start out this video with just saying a massive, massive thank you from the bottom of my heart if you've ever watched my videos and subscribed. Thank you so much, honestly. The last four years has been completely life-changing and it's all because of you. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say too much because I get quite emotional, but um, yeah, it's been amazing. And I looked on my like analytics of my channel the other day and only 27% of my viewers have subscribed. So there's still loads of potential for growth. So if any of you guys watch me on the regular and you feel like hitting that little red button down below, then I would absolutely love that. And yeah, anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna start out with a cleaner you've probably seen in the background of all of my videos where I'm just talking in my kitchen. And that is my Method Cleaner. Oh, by the way, nothing in this video is sponsored. These are all just completely like what I buy. Um, so yes, I wish Method would sponsor me because they should, because I use them all the time. I really, really love them. I discovered them because my friend mentioned it to me once I had a child. She said, you know, it's a non-toxic cleaner, so you can use it on the high chair and table and everything and not have to worry too much about chemicals and everything. It's just a really nice brand. I use the two surface sprays. These are my favorite scents. This one's pink grapefruit. This one is wild rhubarb. But then I also use the bathroom um, cleaner as well. This is in mint um, and I really like that. And it disinfects, it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria but all of the ingredients in it are biodegradable. All of the packaging and ingredients in these cleaners is biodegradable. It's a very eco company. They're a company that is part of the B Corp as well, which means they do things very ethically. They're just a great brand and I really, really love them. I also have the daily shower spray that I use in the shower. I must admit it's not daily, but that's what I clean the shower with. And yeah, I just love them. I love the way it smells. I love how it cleans. You can use it on anything like wood, surface, gloss, windows. You could literally use it as your one main cleaner, but I just tend to use it on all of our surfaces and on our kitchen and on the floor or anywhere else that the kids get messy. So I really, really rate Method Cleaner. They're three pounds a bottle, so it is a bit pricier because you could easily get a surface spray that was a pound. But as I said, the ingredients and sometimes they do, um, what's it called? Like they do deals. So whenever it's like one pound 50 or two pounds, I will buy five of these because I know I'm just gonna keep using it. So in our garage, I have them all like lined up and I'm totally stocked. So yes, Method is my number one. Next up, I'm gonna show you what I use on windows and mirrors and our gloss kitchen. Our gloss kitchen is like the bane of my life. There are fingerprints all over it all the time, so much so that I want to change my kitchen. But these little e-cloths are incredible. They are eco in that you only need to use water with them and they really do polish glossy surfaces very well. You can also use it on windows and mirrors as well. I must admit, I do love a bit of window lean when it comes to mirrors and our windows, but the e-cloth works really, really well on glossy surfaces. I'll get one out and show you. It's literally this little thin textured cloth. I don't really know how it works, but it is incredible and I really do rate it. All you have to do, as I said, is just add water and then you can go across your surfaces. And again, it's no chemicals. I really, really like them. I also like the wash and wipe e-cloths. I got some new ones so you would see them all nice and clean and not disgusting like my ones. But again, these ones you just can add water and use them across your surfaces. It says as well, it kills 99% of bacteria, which I don't really know how it does that if you're only using water. But 
They're really good cloths and I like using them. Next up, I have some cleaning wipes that I wanted to show you. If you have small children, then you will probably know that wipes are so easy to reach for and so great for cleaning up things like the mess after dinner under the high chair. These are just perfect. And the e-cover ones are biodegradable, so I've got them because lots of wipes aren't. So if you can buy biodegradable ones, obviously that's better. And this scent is pomegranate and lime, so it is really very nice. I also have another product from eCover that I have only recently just discovered. We went to Centre Parks for a weekend and they had this washing up liquid in the villa. And it made me think because I only ever buy the washing up liquid that is on special normally. Um, but the eCover one smells really good. This one is pomegranate and fig, so it smells like a Jo Malone scent or something like that. But it's also made completely out of plant-based and mineral materials or ingredients. And yeah, yeah, I just really like it. So I use this and then I bought a new one to show you. Um, but I use this like dishmatic thing. In my cleaning videos, you've probably seen this. You just fill up the handle, it opens up, you fill it up and then it's really easy to wash plates or pots and pans, things like that. So I use these two together. And then I've also just bought the e-cover floor cleaner. Again, I normally buy whatever is on special. Like I don't normally think about it very much, but I'm just trying to be more mindful. I just put a tiny bit of this into my spray mop and then add loads of water. So I've got that. I'm not trying to claim to be some eco warrior. There are chemicals that I am about to show you, but I am trying to be more mindful so I like those. The next product I love is Zaflora. If you live in the UK, you may know about Zaflora. It is a very concentrated disinfectant. So you can pick it up in Poundland. It is super cheap and it is very concentrated. My two favorite scents are the pink grapefruit and then I also have fresh linen or it's called linen fresh. I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, it's very concentrated. So what I like to do is clean out my sink at the end of the day, put a cap full down the drain and it makes our kitchen smell really nice when you come down in the morning and it disinfects things. You can mix this with a big like bowl of water and then you could use that to clean everything. You can use it in your toilet or recently I cleaned out the inside of my Dyson Hoover with some of this stuff and now when I use it, it's like, smells so good. So yeah, it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. So yeah, I really like it and it's super cheap and yeah, I just think it's amazing. And another favorite from Poundland are the magic erasers. You get a box like this for a pound, you get two magic erasers in it and they're just brilliant. I discovered these because my boys ran loads of cars on our bath and there were marks and colored marks on it that I just couldn't get off. So I thought I would try one of these magic erasers erasers. God knows what they're made of, but they honestly did erase all of the marks. These are also great on the skirting boards. These are also great for marks on my shoes. I might do a hacks video solely on what the magic eraser can do. It's just really, really good and it's super cheap. It removes stains without detergent. So yeah, I really, really like them. They're definitely worth a try. Then I do buy bleach. I felt like not including this, but I do use bleach. I buy it for like 50p in Sainsbury's or a pound in Poundland. And I'll use these not every day or not all the time, but I use it in the toilets, obviously, especially if there is a tummy bug or a sickness bug, which my kids are bringing home all the time. I do use bleach. If you have any bleach alternatives, I would love to know them, but this cleans the toilet really, really well. I also have two other cleaners that I wanted to show you, but they are very potent. But this is the only thing that I found that cleans black mold off of our shower so well. So no matter how much we clean it, we even have new bathrooms. Um, sometimes we get black mold in the corners of our shower. Um, and I find if you spray this on, leave for five, 10 minutes and then wash it off, it really does help but I would say it's a very potent smell. It can make you feel a bit lightheaded, so I only use it when I have to, and that's why this bottle is like dusty. I've had it for so long. And then the Silit Bang Lime Scale and Shine is also very good. Like if we have any lime scale, like in the bathroom on our stainless steel, it's, it really, really does work very well. But again, I know they are quite potent and strong when it comes to chemicals. Um, and then I also wanted to show you the Sif. Sif works so well on the bath. I don't use it, again, I don't use it every single week when I clean the bath, 
but if I ever want to give it a really good scrub or give our porcelain sinks a really good clean, I don't think you can beat Sif. It just works so well with like a scrubby brush. So I really, really rate this when it comes to bathrooms. And then I thought I would share with you what I use for the laundry. I know I've shown this in my laundry hacks video, but if you've missed that, I will link it down below. If you've missed that, I thought I would show you anyway. So I, I always say this, but I'm not very brand loyal when it comes to detergent. I tend to buy whatever's on offer. So I've got the Persil non-bio at the moment, and this is like the liquid. I do sometimes like that, because if I want to just wash Jackson's blanket, I can just put a tiny bit in, or if I wash a load of it, I can just pour more in. So I do like having that freedom rather than having the tablets. Um, so this is the Persil non-bio, which is better for your machine. It's better for our children's skin. It's better for our skin. So that's why I always buy that. Then I also really love the Unstoppables. So these are like little pellets that you put into your washing machine and it makes the things in the washing machine and the machine smell really, really good. These are my two favorite scents. This one is spring and I've got it in a huge bottle. And then I've also got lavish, this one's called, which is a really nice smell. I don't use this every single wash. I tend to only use this when I'm washing like the sheets or the towels or if we ever like I strip off all of the cushion covers and then wash them. I'll put quite a few of these in and then I'll find, oh sorry, it's just got really bright in here. Yeah, then I'll find that the couch will just smell really good for quite a few weeks. So I really love them. It makes everything smell really, really nice. I also really like using the color catchers. This is it kind of attracts all of the colors uh, onto this little sheet and then it stops your clothes from graying. And I think they're really effective. And it's also quite satisfying when you pull out the little sheet from a colored wash. And sometimes it's like really, really dark. You think, well, all of that could have been on the clothes themselves. So I think it's quite satisfying. It's probably in my head, but I really, really like it. And then when it comes to stain removal, I really rate Vanish. I am always a bit like, it's quite expensive. Sometimes it's six pounds, sometimes it's eight pounds. And I do use it a lot because my kids come home with so many stains. Like sometimes I pick them up from school and I look at them and I think, how did you even get a grass stain on your back collar or whatever it is? But I tend to put a big scoop of this in most of our color loads. Um, so I get this Vanish Oxy Action or Vanish Gold, whichever one is on special. Um, so I really, really rate it. It does really help with stains. I also have the Vanish Gold little like gel. So this is really easy to squeeze and rub onto a stain. I've got that and then I've even got my little Vanish stain bar. So this is really good to take with you on holiday. I should have put it in my packing hacks video um, But it's great because our baby is still so messy when it comes to ice cream or eating it gets everywhere So I can immediately take it off of him rub this bar on it and then get the stain out straight away if we're out and about or I could use it at home as well um, but yeah I just really like the vanish bars as well and then the only other thing I was going to mention is when it comes to dishwasher tablets we tend to buy whatever is like the biggest works out the best um, tablets in Costco um, at the moment we've got a big thing of the finished tablets um, and they work fine and then every few months I will run one of these throughout our dishwasher. It is just a dishwasher cleaner, but I think it really, really does help to clean out our machine. And so I like using them as well. Sorry, the sun is going like, whoa, really bright. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick video to talk about my favorite cleaning products. I would love for you guys to comment below what yours are and any other eco alternatives. I'm sure you guys always have the best tips. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!